Hi. <laughs> Hi. What do you say? Holy swarm buckets. Swarm buckets. No, you're supposed to say welcome to Heritage oh, Homestead. Yes, there, there, there you go. Yes. Um, so we're out here redoing that gate. And it's an exciting day. Mr. Smokey has caught himself a baby squirrel. And it sounds horrible. But that's lunch for one of them. can't see it here. A oh, baby squirrel. I know that's not going to look pleasant for some of you, but that's the way it works. You got cats and well, they're going to catch things. And we got a we got a plethora of squirrels around yes, here. We do. So there's no shortage of them no. and I'm not, you know. Anyway, so I wasn't planning on doing a video, but uh, I do need to catch up with y'all. Oh, that sounds oh, that sounds horrible. Oh, Smokey do it in. And uh, so I figured I'd catch you up on some excitement and how we have been so stinking here. And uh, before it settles down entirely, we're out here, like I said, redoing the gate there because the board's rotted down on the bottom. That's what you get when you use that cheap OSB. So this gate's completely made out of cedar. Cedar gussets, cedar glue screws. It's going to last a lot longer. And we are got cedar posts that are going to go in the ground. Smokey, do your job! <laughs> anyway, while we're doing that, this happens. Can you see that? This thing's huge. And I'm out of nuke boxes. But we've got, it looks like out of number four, a swarm. Look at them all. Huge, huge cloud of them. So I'm going to have to deal with this in just a little bit. I'm going to let all these guys settle down. It won't take, it'll take them a few minutes to settle down. They're all over. This is a big swarm compared to others. I'm pretty sure they came out in number, th well there's a lot of bees on number three and four. Hard to say, I don't know, because we already, we just caught, so that brown box right there, uh, so I did split, so there's a split in number, th uh, the green box right there, and then the brown box uh, was another swarm, and it went way up in that hickory tree right there a couple days ago, and, or was it a couple of days ago? It's been, it's been two days, been two days. Because I'll show you what we've been working on. Taking care of the garden. Getting things planted. Uh, that didn't look too good. Didn't do a good job planting on that. I got more strawberries than you're going to be amazed at. My uh, beets are looking fabulous. My greens are looking fabulous. My be these beans have not popped up yet. I'm going to have to replant them. I'm not liking that. But we've been out back here working on... Uh, getting the drying shed together and so we cleaned up our stack here and we're going to rearrange this uh, eventually but we've pulled all our wood out and we got some cedar and some oak and some all our different cuts kind of organized and all the oak and all the cedar pulled out of the shop so that I can get room back in the shop so we've got this built and Sorry for no how-to videos on this, folks, but this isn't a hard thing. The one thing I will say is instead of buying wood, which is kind of crazy right now, we've used some of the cedar for uh, bigger stuff than I would normally. I wasn't going to use this cedar. I was going to use these cedar logs that I had up here for, um, oh, making uh, wonderful projects. Um you know, stuff I could sell, uh, stuff you guys could get a hold of, but uh, I needed to get this so I could keep on working on things. So we've got full two inch wide boards. Uh, so I got some two by five and a half in the middle. Uh, I got uh, two by sixes and then down on the bottom of these, uh, two inches by seven inches because 
this thing's going to have to hold a heck of a lot of weight. Heck of a lot of weight when we get a lot of uh, boards stacked in here. But we have the ability to go full 12 footers and full 8 footers inside the inside of these posts. Uh, now these boards are longer than that. They're 9 and, and then these are 10 and these long ones out here are 12 foot. But um, all the work that we have ahead of us. And this, this big slab, y'all remember that. Uh, that's going to get cut in half and turned into a workbench at some point in time we're going to rearrange all this got to get the cedar out of the way here and then clean up all our uh, firewood out there on those sides all the slabs uh, the good ones that i like we're using that for the back side here in order to um, keep the wind and the rain from going in on them uh, but so we've been busy on that repairs new things i did buy my neighbor's um my buddy's uh ladder to get up there he's got a 40 foot ladder he's going to bring up here eventually but i'm thankful these girls that have come out today um only went right there in that tree because um i don't like going up there i had to do a, a little finagling in order to get them even going up on that uh ladder way up high the the swarm had landed oh uh, too high for that so i ended up doing a little trick somebody says get this i know i'm checking my potatoes i didn't do too good with them in the bucket got too wet i guess um so i did this i took one of my off cuts of cedar strapped it to the bucket and then put the bucket underneath the swarm and just knocked them all in the bucket and then tipped it over and let them all slide into the yeah she's looking at me like no you're crazy good god that's a lot of bees now they settled down so chaos my friends it is a spring of chaos boy they're settling down here they're settling down. There's not as many flying. Wow, look at those. Look at those girls. Isn't that something? Shadow! Shadow, why aren't you up there with uh, Smokey and Midnight uh, dealing with the uh, lunch that he got? Wow, look at that. That's crazy. That is a lot of bees. That has got to be more than... A standard nuke that's got to be like us uh, more than five pounds a normal nuke is around five pounds of bees I swear these has got to be twice this it might be eight or ten pounds of bees there where the heck do we put them because we gotta get the nuke out. yeah we got it we got to figure something out with a nuke because um, and then we'll figure out our friend said we could put them over at her place if need be. And yeah, we, we, we might do that. Over there. Well, no, I'm, I meant so much as a box because... Oh, well, we ain't got a big box anymore. We got the... Yeah, I know. We're, we're going to have to look at that other one. Um, God, has a lot of bees. That one's not going to fit all those bees. It's too small. Well, it will fit it long enough to get them. Yeah, I guess Get them so. in there. Or either that or we do a little bit of rearranging and we... Um, take that small split off the green and move them into the big box into the purple box and and then put these in that box because this box, box it'll hold six frames yeah it's a bigger box that's a lot of girls maybe we do that it's pretty windy yeah well let's let them settle in let's wait till they all sit there's a whole lot easier to um collect them when they're not flying around so bad hey, when you can stop because you're shaking the tree I'm oh not. they'll be they'll be fine they'll be fine yeah it's getting crazy god these girls are flying all we, right we so went through them and we split i know we split everybody then uh well there's it's okay this sorry is what happened last year too honey yep we um, split and we had to catch all right so folks you can see there is chaos happening on the homestead yeah i think we'll get that green box there's only a small amount of bees in there in that split so we need to move those. We'll, we'll switch boxes. Shadow, get up here and take care of your stuff. All right, that's what I got for you folks. Oh, and uh, most of you probably haven't seen. Don't trip on that. Most of you haven't seen 
that we have gotten the brick for the brick oven and put it on the list of all the projects that we have all the projects we have so uh, let that dry paint the post while you're waiting for that to dry yeah anyway that's a long enough video Good gracious tell you what uh who needs a job when you have homes Ooh, you're nasty what are you oh this is one of those uh wasps that like the mint they're a weird they're a, they're a pollinator yeah, they're a pollinator and of course for those of you who's seen we got uh, all our chicks are in that new brooder box they did they did it's good it's out of its it. misery go on shadow all right folks I know there's a lot of stuff happening around the world I'd love to make some comments on a lot of things that are happening but you know what um, it's all distractions from your ability to um, create your own uh, navigations <laughs> we'll just put it yeah all this fun stuff all right say bye bye honey bye